A couple goes on a camping trip only to discover the grisly aftermath of a horrific murder and soon find themselves face to face with the men responsible. Welcome back to Nonstop Recap, where today we'll be recapping the 2016 horror thriller Killing Ground. The film opens with shots of an abandoned tent at a riverside camping spot, it then cuts to a couple named Sam and Ian as they drive to the camping spot where they plan to celebrate New Year's. Sam is doing crossword puzzles and asking Ian for help with the name of a bone since he's a doctor, and she ends up singing a version of Dem Bones with him. They soon realize that they forgot to pack their champagne, so Ian suggests that they stop somewhere to pick some up. Eventually they pull over and Sam goes in to get the champagne while Ian looks at a map and tries to figure out where they're headed. He gets confused and asks a nearby man for directions, only to be told that they'll need four-wheel drive to get to the camping spot they want to go to and Ian's car won't be able to handle that. Instead, the man tells him about another spot that they can try and Ian is incredibly thankful, completely unaware that the man he's talking to will soon be hunting him down. The man drives off in his truck as Sam returns and the two drive off and begin reminiscing about the last time they each went camping. Sam shares that she went camping on a school trip and one of her classmates lit his tent on fire and ended up with horrible third degree burns. He was questioned about what he was doing and said that he was just playing with matches when suddenly his whole tent went up in smoke. Ian is shocked by the story but soon gets distracted when he notices the truck from earlier driving behind them. He's so focused on the truck that he nearly misses their turn and goes swerving off the road. Luckily, the car and the couple are both fine, so Ian and Sam continue down the road toward their camping spot. When they arrive, they see another truck parked by the spot and see a tent on the beach where they want to camp. Ian is bummed about having to share their spot with another group, but Sam says it'll be nice to make some friends for New Year's Eve, but unfortunately for her, they won't be finding these new friends alive. The film then cuts to a house and we see German, the man who gave Ian directions as he tries to wake up his friend Chuck. Chuck doesn't want to get up, so German gets his dog Banjo to jump on Chuck and get him out of bed. The two head to the store when they see an attractive woman with a stroller and discuss if she's old enough to sleep with. Back with Ian and Sam, they're getting their tent set up when Sam suddenly asks Ian if he wants to get married. He tells her yes and the two happily embrace and kiss. Sam goes to call her sister and tell her the good news but realizes her phone doesn't have any signal. Sam relaxes and reads a book while occasionally glancing over at the other tent, clearly wondering where the occupants are. Meanwhile, Ian goes to collect some firewood and finds someone's hat on the ground, although he doesn't think much of it. Later in the evening, Ian and Sam are making dinner when Sam breaks the tab off a can and pretends it's her engagement ring. The film then flashes back to three days earlier and we see the family that were staying in the tent across from Sam and Ian. A teenage girl named M sits down for dinner with her parents, Margaret and Rob, as well as her baby brother, Ollie. That night, she sits by the fire with her parents as her dad plays some Christmas carols. We see Sam and Ian by their own fire as Sam reads a passage from a dark book, and Ian reminisces about how Sam used to read to him all the time. We see that German and Chuck are also out to celebrate New Year's and are sitting around a table chatting with some girls. They end up heading into the bathroom together and Chuck shows German that he has some photos of a girl they assaulted and murdered, and German smashes his phone to try and destroy the evidence. German tells Chuck he's an idiot and that what they do out in the woods stays out in the woods. German tries to get Chuck to calm down a bit, but Chuck is sadistic and chomping at the bit to go kill more people, and it won't be long before he decides to make Ian and Sam his next victims. The two go back into the bar and count down to New Year's with everyone and at the stroke of midnight, Chuck goes over and kisses a girl, making her mad and causing her to shove him. German ends up heading back to the house, but Chuck stays out and ends up creepily watching a girl as she walks home. In their tent, Ian and Sam realize that they actually missed midnight by five minutes, so Ian rewinds his watch and the two count down together. Later that night, Ian steps out to pee and hears a noise, which turns out to be a wild pig that broke into their food. He goes to bring the food back to the car and discovers that one of their tires popped. In another flashback, we see Margaret and Rob getting ready for a hike with Ollie, and M says she'd rather stay behind, but she gets a picture of them before they leave. While sitting at a camp, M hears some noises and gets freaked out. She ends up leaving
leaving the camp and getting into the car where she eventually falls asleep. In the present, Ian and Sam wake up and discover that the family in the other tent still haven't shown up. The two think something might have happened to them and Sam suggests that they go get a ranger. Sam starts packing their stuff up and bringing it into the car while Sam tries to deal with the tire and as she heads towards the car we see Ollie running behind her alone. On the way back to the car, Sam finds Ollie and calls Ian over. He inspects Ollie and has Sam run down to the abandoned tent to find supplies. They eventually bring Ollie to the car but the tire is too broken to drive on and they can't find the keys to the other car. They decide that Ian will walk out to the road and try and get a signal while Sam sits in the car with Ollie. We then see German arriving home and finding a note from Chuck saying that he's gone out hunting. Before Ian can leave, Chuck shows up and says he's a hunter who's out hunting pigs. Ian and Sam explain the situation to him and he says that he saw the missing family three days ago and said they were heading up to a waterfall and might have gotten attacked by wild hogs. He suggests that Ian go with him and they can go check by the waterfall and see if they can find the parents. Ian and Sam are suspicious of Chuck, but they eventually agree. Chuck grabs a rifle to bring along, which makes Ian and Sam uncomfortable, but Ian still walks off with him. We then finally see a flashback of the tragic fate that befell the missing family as German and Chuck find M asleep in the truck. M wakes up and begins to panic as Chuck acts creepy and tries to get her to come out. Eventually, he starts barking at her and she hits the horn of the car in order to get her parents' attention. German eventually uses a rifle and forces M at gunpoint to get out of the truck. Her parents notice the car horn and Rob begins to run back to the car, but he isn't much help against German's rifle. Margaret pulls Ollie back in the tent and runs to help as well, managing to tackle Chuck to the ground, but she's also quickly overpowered. She tries to get M to run away, but German threatens to shoot her father if she does. The family is tied up and dragged off to another part of the woods, and Chuck and German look through M's phone and see Ollie in the photos. M and Margaret are assaulted, and Rob is shot before Chuck and German decide they want some target practice. They knock Margaret out and put a can on her head for a game of William Tell, but eventually German decides to shoot Margaret. The two then head off to the family's tent to find Ollie, but he's missing. In the present, Ian and Chuck are walking through the woods and Ian asks Chuck about how he catches pigs, and he describes how he likes to use traps. Eventually, the men come across the bodies of M and Rob, and Ian is horrified, saying that they need to go get help. Chuck disagrees and says instead that they should go look for the mother. German arrives at the campsite and Sam explains the situation with Ollie and explains that Ian walked off with Chuck. We then see Chuck and Ian as they find Margaret, who managed to survive her gunshot wound and crawl off. Chuck shoots her and Sam and German both hear the shot. Realizing what Chuck is doing, German grabs his own rifle and Sam hides in the car. German breaks the window and tries to grab Sam, but she slashes his wrist with a Swiss army knife. Sam runs away with Ollie and German chases after her with banjo. Chuck tries to threaten Ian with his rifle but Ian pushes him over and runs away where he's able to find a hiding spot as Chuck chases him. Banjo is pursued by Sam but is attacked by a wild hog. German is distracted by Banjo's attack when he's suddenly shot by Chuck, who thought he was Ian. Sam is unseen nearby, but Ollie starts crying and gives away where she is. Chuck grabs her and brings her over to German before deciding to shoot German and put him out of his misery. Ian watches from his hiding spot as Chuck walks off with Sam after making her leave Ollie on the ground. He ends up tying her up and assaulting her as a way to draw out Ian. Meanwhile, Ian inspects German's body and finds his car keys. He takes German's truck and drives away to get help. Chuck hears the car driving away and freaks out, untying Sam and forcing her down to his car. They begin to drive off, but Sam is able to distract him and cause him to crash. Ian is able to get the help of the police and he rides with them back to the camping spot. They come across Chuck's crashed truck just as Sam and Chuck regain consciousness. Chuck sees the police officers approaching the car and shoots both of them. Chuck walks over to the police car and shoots Ian in the arm. Sam then gets out of Chuck's car and begins to run off, but Chuck tells 
tells her if she doesn't come back and drive him somewhere safe, then he'll kill Ian. Sam comes back and the three drive off. We then see Banjo walking around, seemingly okay after being attacked, and eventually she finds Ollie on the ground and lays down to guard him. Back in the car, Sam is speeding, which is causing Chuck pain due to an injury he got when he crashed the car. Ian tells Sam to do it, and she suddenly crashes the car, causing it to roll. Ian is knocked unconscious, and Sam and Chuck crawl from the car. The two begin to fight, and Sam is eventually able to get the upper hand and smash Chuck's head in with a rock. The film then cuts forward, and we see Sam waking up in a hospital where she gets up and goes to look at Ian with an intense look of sadness and disappointment as he wakes up. Click one of the videos on screen for more.